Sure, fighting in a fast-paced shooter is entertaining, but have you ever used a tornado as a weapon? Although the answer is most likely no, Battlefield 2042 allows you to channel your inner Shia LaBeouf and make your fantasies a reality. The latest installment in the Battlefield franchise employs cutting-edge technologies and next-generation hardware to push the game's boundaries to new heights. While many games claim to do so, Battlefield 2042 appears to deliver on that promise with a far greater play count and a perfect combination of new and old. The forthcoming FPS is poised to reclaim the multiplayer title. Battlefield 2042 takes place in the not-too-distant future on a planet ravaged by the world's worst refugee crisis. Players in this shooter will be referred to as no-patriated or no-pads for short. Farmers, engineers, and soldiers are no-pads. They are the survivors, the combatants who do not battle for a flag. They struggle for the known world survival. Battlefield 2042 has three primary experiences at its core with a stronger emphasis on multiplayer. There's all-out warfare, as well as conquest and breakthrough, the next generation of fan favorites. All-out warfare is meant to be liberating, intense, and utter mayhem, featuring the largest maps in the Battlefield franchise's history. Dynamic weather changes, changing world events, and, oh yeah, crazy tornadoes, all add to the mayhem. Tornadoes, dust storms, and other natural disasters wreak havoc on the battlefields while players battle it out. According to DICE, Players can either remain out of the tornado's path or use its strength to their advantage. Taking out a sniper with a massive natural disaster, no matter how you spin it, if you ask me, that seems awesome. Hazard Zone is the second multiplayer experience. This section is all about high-stakes situations and communicating with your team. This is a more updated version of the Battlefield experience that stands alone and is unrelated to all-out warfare. The final component of the multiplayer experience remains a mystery but DICE will reveal it later. At launch, Battlefield 2042 will include 10 specialists, with more to come later. The studio's unique attention to detail for the support class, though, is what has gamers most thrilled. Players may now shoot friends to heal and even resurrect them, allowing for more strategic healing in combat. Choose Maria Falk to utilize a healing cannon as a combat surgeon, or Peter Gazowski to go sentry happy while dominating the battlefield with his engineer background. Or if you don't want to deal with any of them, Go Casper with a handy-dandy drone. There are advantages to each option you choose. Each specialist, each class, has something special to offer. To make the world of 2042 even more real, each character has their own distinct qualities, talents, and appearance. Awesome new vehicles accompany outstanding weapons and classes. Battlefield is no stranger to wreaking havoc on vehicles, and 2042 does so much better with this. The sandbox experience has been entirely updated, and this includes the numerous wheelage options available to gamers. Use a call-in tablet to summon a vehicle while working with your team to maximize the use of each kind. You name it, gunner vehicles, mine drops, and so on. Why just mow someone down when you can lay a minefield along the way? This is an online game with live support. DICE, unlike Call of Duty, isn't interested in putting playable material behind paywalls and is absolutely not interested in limiting maps based on the player's preferred platform. While there will be a free and premium version of the Battlefield Pass, the premium version will just be for cosmetics. There will be no operators, maps, or modes locked behind this purchase of this particular player option. Premium could be the way to go if you're like me and enjoy having cool-looking specialists. Battlefield 2042 seems like a logical progression for the brand and a triumphant return for the die shooter. Set in the future but not too far away, 2042 is enthralling and forward-thinking. It has a natural, big, and fresh feel about it. This new experience emphasizes tactics, and while the loss of single-player is upsetting, the team has been forced to come up with new ways to complement the tale. With lore drops and specialists who have genuine stories to tell, this hybrid experience isn't just a half-baked idea. It's a whole new one. I'm glad they finally changed pace, because this series was in desperate need of a true makeover. And that's it for this one. What do you look forward to the most in Battlefield 2042? Leave us your answer in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos. This is Stone Smith, and I'm out.